crossing into the U.S., most immigrants are processed and then released, making their way to large cities in hopes of finding more people from their home country who speak their language and hopefully finding some kind of work. Here in Chicago, for months, migrants have been in shelters or, unfortunately, because of overcrowding, inside of police stations, simply sleeping on the floor in lobbies. The city of Chicago shelling out millions of dollars on new winterized tent facilities. In the Windy City, yeah. As Kelsey is reporting now, it's what comes with those tents that's raising some questions. Kelsey? You know, Adrian, there really are a lot of opinions about what is happening in Chicago right now. We know the new mayor announced plans to build tent cities for migrants about two weeks ago. But now we are learning that a more than $29 million contract was signed by the city to build these tent facilities. And what is being accommodated to these migrants under this new deal? Well, it's oftentimes not available to some Chicago residents. My plan is to move with expediency families out of police stations into housing and shelter that's more suitable. Chicago Mayor Brandon Johnson bringing tent cities to the Windy City, where roughly 7,000 asylum seekers are spread out across nearly two dozen temporary shelters. Last week, the mayor signed a deal with Garda World to build at least six new tent facilities. The contract, uncovered by News Nation's Chicago affiliate, WGN, laid out what accommodations the company must provide. Each facility will hold between 250 and 1,400 asylum seekers. Garda Garda World will also supply bedding, laundry, showers, three meals a day, and security. The contract also calls for several benefits that Chicago residents don't necessarily receive, including all-day child care seven days a week, as well as vans to take migrants to school, doctor appointments, and community resources. We're only doing cr crisis to crisis. And I've said that, that this is not a game of whack-a-mole. This has to be a long-term, thought-out process. The contract also requires temperatures inside the tents to be at least 70 degrees if the outside temperature hits 40 degrees. I could only imagine what's going to happen trying to keep an outdoor tent warm in Chicago in the winter when we know that single digits will be the norm come January and February. A spokesperson for the city of Chicago telling News Nation that this contract was signed in conjunction with the state's disaster proclamation to quickly move the nearly 1,500 migrants currently staying at police stations. But so far, it's still unclear where these facilities would be located and when they would open. I just checked and the city of Chicago is expected to spend more than $255 million caring for migrants by the end of the year. Nick? Wow, Kelsey, this is definitely a story we will keep an eye on. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.